The first sightings were here on Billings South Side near Riverside Middle School nearly two weeks ago. And now we're hearing more reports of birds dropping dead across the city of Billings in people's yards. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has taken responsibility, saying it's an abatement project to kill starlings. This time of year, it's not surprising to have birds chirping in the trees. But what is shocking is to find several dead ones in your yard. Actually, one of my dogs brought a frozen rock solid one into the house. Yeah, there's one right over here that's dead. One week ago, we spoke with Josh Digley, who lives on the Billings South Side. His neighborhood had hundreds of dead starlings. Now we are on the opposite end of town, near the rims, where Christine Pierce is also dealing with the aftermath of the USDA's poisoning of starlings. I just feel like this is something we need to know about before it happens. The USDA tells MTN they notified local government on March 6th about the project to use a chemical bait, DRC-1339, to reduce the number of starlings in the area. Something the Montana Audubon in Helena says it was shocked to learn. What is the long-term goal? Because another bird is going to come replace it if there's a food source that's attracting that bird. The Audubon and many here in Billings are also concerned that no one was warned before dozens upon dozens of dead birds started showing up on their properties. The city of Billings tells us they were not involved in planning or executing the DRC 1339 treatment, telling MTN, quote, information on any USDA program is theirs to share. The USDA is our nation's authority on invasive species that are detrimental to communities and the agriculture culture industry. When asked why the USDA didn't notify residents about the abatement, the agency replied by saying local governments were notified about the project. It's inhumane, it's irresponsible, and I don't want to find dead birds that have been poisoned in my yard and, and not even be aware of what happened. The USDA also now tells us they only used the treatment over the course of one day, and that night any remaining treatment was cleaned. The agency did say it occurred at two locations, but will still not tell MTN where exactly, despite a public records request. It's a big fat negative to our community. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News.